Baumia means business. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, Second Lady, our incoming Vice, National Chairman, Chief of Staff, General Secretary, Majority Leader, Chairman of the Council of Elders, and all the great and good of the MPP gathered here. My task is a very simple one. You've heard about what we have tried to do these last seven and a half years. I don't intend to go over that. You've also heard about the exciting things that we're going to do in the next eight years. I don't intend to talk about that. What I want to do is to give testimony and make an appeal to the Ghanaian people through you why they should give the leadership of this country to Mahamadou Bawamiya and Matthew Opoku Prempe. Because at the end of the day, plans, policies, programs, if there's no character, if there's no strength, if there's no determination of will in the part of the people involved, they just remain plans and programs. I don't think there's anybody in this country better placed to testify about the capacity of our presidential ticket than me, Nanado Dankwa Akufuado. I am the best. I am the best placed person to give the testimony. And clearly also, the best place to appeal to the people of Ghana to give the stewardship of this country for the next eight years to Dr. Baumia and his running mate, Napoleon. Sixteen years ago, the Mamadou Baumia and I first met and decided to join our lives together. I can say that there's not one day that I've regretted joining my life to his and his to me. In opposition, as well as in government, he has been a model of loyalty, of honesty, of dedication, and of patriotism. This is a man who lives and breathes Ghana. Whatever commitments he has made before you and before the people of Ghana, I can put my hand on my heart and say, he will deliver on each one of those commitments. People have had problems with their vice presidents in the Fourth Republic. We won't go over that. I, Nanado, I've never had any problem with my vice president. I've gone to bed every night secure in my knowledge that my vice president stands firmly with and behind me in everything that I've tried to do in these last seven and a half years. He has been the picture, the model of loyalty itself. And all I can say to his vice is that even if he has half of the loyalty that Bamudu Baumia has shown to me, he is going to be an excellent vice president. This is a man who has respect for the people of Ghana. This is not a man who is going to tell the Ghanaian people that you have short memories. That is not the kind of man we have here. That is not the type of man we have here. He's a man 
who has respect for the people of Ghana. This is not somebody who's going to say to the Ghanaian people when his policies have failed that I am not a magician. That is not the language of Mahadu Baomiya. That is not the sort of person that he is. We have here a man who is respectful and who will work night and day to make sure that our country continues on the upward trajectory. You have, in the business that we have chosen, some who blow with the wind. They say one thing today, and they'll say another thing tomorrow, because they believe that we have short memories. We don't remember their record. We remember their record. The record of failure. There have been five presidents in Ghana. One, unfortunately, died in harness. But the other four that are left, and I'm saying this because I know there are going to be a lot of first-time voters, people who perhaps don't remember our recent history very well. But three of these four, presidents, all of them, because of their record, the Ghanaian people renewed their mandate. Jerry John Rawlins got a second term. John Ajekum Kufuor got a second term. Nanado Dankwa Akufuado got a second term. There is only one whose record did not merit a second term. And you and I know who I am talking about. It's a man who wants to come back to save his image because he believes that Ghanaians have forgotten his record. Mr. Candidate, your record has not been forgotten. We will not allow that record to be forgotten. So, I don't have any hesitation in saying to you and saying to the people of Ghana that the leadership Muhammad Bouamia is going to provide for us is exactly the leadership we need to take us to the next step of our development. If indeed the biggest strategic interest of the 21st century is the development of the digital economy and the unfolding of the fourth industrial revolution, there is only one man in Ghana today that can take us through that fourth industrial revolution. Mahamadou Baumia is his name. He's going to be ably supported by a young man. Are you still a young man? By a young man was always impressed me. In 2012, he was the director of my election campaign. When, by the grace of, the, of God and the generosity of the Ghanaian people, I was honored and privileged with the office of President of the Republic. The most important flagship program of my government at its outset was the implementation of the free senior high school policy. I had no doubt in my mind that he was the one person who could implement that policy to success. 
And that is why, and that is why I confined him to this job. Everybody, everybody in Ghana can testify to the success with which he implemented the free senior high school policy. We're talking about these two people. We're talking about achievers, people who achieve things in their lives. Our presidential candidate and incoming president was on his way to becoming governor of the Bank of Ghana, having had a brilliant career as a central banker until he met me and I diverted him. But I think at the end of the day, he will agree today that the diversion has been worth his while. Matthew Poku Prempe is an achiever. Apart from implementing the free senior high school policy, he has been for the last three and a half years our energy minister. Not only has he kept the lights on, but he has helped us through some very difficult pro pro programs of restructuring our energy debt and putting our energy sector on a much sounder footing then we came to meet it in 2017. These are the two people who are asking for the mandate of the Ghanaian people. I have no hesitation as the outgoing president is saying that they will be worthy successors to the office of president and vice president. So I want all of you here the leadership of our party, from top to bottom, from the polling station to the national leadership, from all members of the campaign committees, from the electoral area, through the constituency, through the regions, to the national level, to make an extra of effort to go out and sell this golden ticket to every nook and cranny of our country to make sure that when the results are declared, hopefully on the 8th of December, we will hear the sweet news. The sixth president of the Fourth Republic, Mohamedou Baumia, has won a clear victory. And as I told you, when I hear that noise and I go to Blackstar Square on the 7th of January, then I'm off to Chibi. And I'm expecting to see some of you there in my retirement. Thank you and may God bless you all and bless the MPP. Thank you.